So I had concluded that today I would actually go out on my bike and make a cycling video for the first real time and be like, yo, I got your bike. This thing's wicked. But I tried to show it. It went from like an okay day to uh, just a bit, bit too much is what I would say. Yeah, a very, very wet day. So that is a bit of a write off. Uh, I was totally keen for the idea of cycling, even if it was a wee bit wet, but yeah, that's uh, maybe a step too far for how I'm feeling today. So instead of this grand plan I had to ride the bike and talk about it, I guess I'm just gonna fucking not ride the bike and talk about why I think this bike's amazing. So the bike I'm currently riding is a giant TCR Advanced SL from maybe 2010. <laughs> this was not the bike that I sought out when I was getting into cycling. I've been cycling for three months. Before this, I was riding a red Carrera from like 2018 maybe. So when the option to get a carbon Jura Ace racing giant came up, it wasn't where my mind had originally gone. I was supposed to be getting a used Trek Domani AL4 from 2022 from the place I work. It would be second hand, it was used for hires, I would get it nice and cheap compared to brand new at least. And that would be my next step up from my Shimano Tuni to Shimano Tiagra. But then a friend who worked at a bike shop basically said, you need to come see this bike, I think you should buy it. I saw the photo of it and no offence, not grateful. <laughs> Looked cool, but I was thinking mm, that bike may be too small for me. And that oh, looks like a pretty slammed stem. But against my better judgment, I went and saw the bike. I texted a colleague at the bike car shop. I was like, what do you think? Should I get the Damani or do you like the look of this? So there was a couple of differences between getting this and the Damani. The Damani is obviously quite a bit newer. However, it's aluminium, Tiagra. Granted, the older bike had Jura Ace, but obviously Tiagra, trickle down mechanics and stuff like that meant that it was still a good group set. It had hydraulic brakes, wasn't slammed. It was a bit more of a comfier feel. The giant had Jura Ace, and as my colleague put it, Jura Ace was bling, but bling wears out, and then you have to replace the bling. But I still, I went, I saw it had rim brakes, it was cool as fuck, and it was about £400 cheaper than buying the Domani. I managed to get this bike for £600. Whether that was a bargain or whether that was me getting ripped off, I don't know. And at this point, I don't think I care either. So I managed to get out eventually because I didn't end up finishing this video as soon as I thought I would. So I thought this is a great chance to actually just show the bike in the wild. I've taken some videos, probably, throughout this video. You'll see me riding it, but I'm going to walk through the bike here Cause it's just more interesting. <laughs> We've got the Jura Ace SGX. It's a 53B. Uh, I genuinely don't know what it is on the smaller chain rings. I'm a bad cyclist and I don't pay attention. We've got the lovely 11 to 28 cassette. Which when is you a... live in Scotland and specifically in the Highlands, that makes climbing just a little bit hard. <laughs> I don't get how much Boyer enjoys this shit, man. As we call it, bit it. You either get a bigger cassette or you just get stronger legs. Pretty much every ride I have to go on within the first couple of kilometers, there is big, steep climbs. So I'm just accepting that I need to get bigger legs. I think it's 7,900. It's got the wonderful Mark Cavendish Vibe Sprint Pro because it's exactly what I need. I am definitely a sprinter. Very of its time, probably my least favorite part of the bike. I just think it looks a bit obnoxious and for how sleek I feel the rest of the bike looks, it's not really my style, but it was expensive when it was bought. It's carbon, it does the job. There's probably things I should focus on buying first instead of aesthetically wanting to replace a stem. Probably the best part about this entire bike is the Rov Viger SL wheels. Oh my fucking God. These wheels spin, man. I've always heard about people saying about how wheels and tires make the biggest difference uh, when you're cycling. Obviously going from the Carrera to then to the Damani. The Damani had slightly nicer wheels, but again, they weren't like amazing. Riding these actually makes me feel 
fast. Like, I understand it now. The distinct lack of spokes makes me look like I know what I'm doing. Or maybe it makes me look like I don't know what I'm doing and I've got all the gear and no idea. Anyway, I quite like it. The wheels spin forever. It's one of those ones where I will be in my kitchen and I'll spin the wheel. I will go and get something, go back to the living room, then come back into the kitchen and it's still spinning. So that's always nice. The Carrera I was riding was rim brake already as well. And while I had been riding with the Mani a wee bit testing it out and had experienced hydraulics, it wasn't a big make or break for me. I hadn't spent too long on it to then convince me into only wanting hydraulic. Throwing it back a wee bit with a Garmin Edge 200 that I got for free from my brother. And probably one of the nicest parts of the bike again is the Cell Italia. Titanium, seat rails, gel superflow. This thing is fucking comfy. My touche has never felt so good on a bike, to be honest. She's got the wonderful Dura Ace something pedals. This bike was a proper jump into shoes. Before that, I was using old mountain bike cleats. Uh, so I was using the alternative SPD. So this was a more interesting way to show the bike and maybe spice in some clips of me cycling it because this is supposed to be a bike video, so. Yeah. I've been properly betrayed by the Met Office here. I was told this was a very low wind day. It'd be cold, but low wind. And then it's got quite windy, quite quickly. And I'm fucking freezing. Jesus Christ. Hi. Hi. Hi, Hi girls. <laughs> Uh, I definitely overestimated or underestimated so how cold it would be. Very cold, following that, Jesus Christ. It was fun, it was nice to be back on the bike again after a week and a bit, but my god that was cold and I truly underestimated. I got two layers on, it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. One of the biggest things I noticed in this bike was Obviously, most of the time people say getting a new bike doesn't make you quicker, but going from what was probably about 12 kilo Carrera to alleged, I don't actually know, between six and a half and seven kilogram giant, there was a difference. My average speed was up, and especially now after having the bike for maybe a month and a half, two months, I'm getting faster. Partially that's probably because I'm getting fitter, but also I just have way more confidence in the bike. It's got GP5000s on the tires, which is another one of those bling things that I didn't have before for, but now I have them. It's like riding in heaven. They're so good and I just trust the bike, which I think is also making me quicker and I'm just more confident when riding it. Obviously the big adjustment has been that I'm now bike for slam stem. My seat post is high. It's been an adjustment on the body, but rather fortunately the bike was was 100% the size that I was going for. I originally was looking at 58. Then I tried out 56 and went, ooh, maybe this was for me. This bike turned off and I just decided I can always make a bike bigger. I can't necessarily make a bike smaller. I may as well just go for the 56. And it's, I feel like I've made the right decision. You have to care about the way your bike looks. People who say they don't, I don't believe them. Like, that's a crazy statement. You ha If you have a nice looking bike, you're going to ride your bike more. That's just how, what I think. If you have a bike you think's ugly, why are you gonna ride it? You're gonna look at it and be like, yep, ugh, stay in my garage. This bike looks wicked. It's got the color scheme I want. It looks fast. I don't know how to explain that any better than it just looks like it's a fast bike. For right now, this is a bike that I genuinely feel like I could keep riding for a long time. And as my bling wears out, I will replace it with nicer bling and just have a awesome foundation to build off of. Now this doesn't mean I'm not gonna get new bikes in the future. I would like to do some sort of bike packing and whether a racing frame is appropriate for that, probably not. So the number of bikes in my household might again grow. But until then, I am so happy that this gets to be my bike. And I have one that people are like, wow, that's nice. And then ask questions about it. Yeah, this was supposed to be a fun little uh, go cycle your bike day and talk about the bike but the weather just hasn't offered me that opportunity and I decided I need to get back into video making and editing and why not do it on something that I'm discovering I love very, very much so. See you later.